croissant. It's like that uh, vine. Gotta draw my croissant. I say that all the time. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm gonna be talking about my opinions on some of the newest release handbags for 2021. This idea was actually given to me by one of my subscribers, Love Lola. Hey girl, thank you so much for the inspiration. So what I did for this video, I went to a couple of my favorite designers, went to their new releases page, picked a couple bags and took screenshots of them. I'm gonna be giving you my opinions of them. I also put polls on my Instagram story. Um, I thought it might be interesting to see kind of like a cross section of what people think about these new bags. So. Without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to get started with a bag from Prada. This is the Prada System Napa Leather Patchwork Shoulder Bag. This bag is obviously just a different variation of the re-edition, you know, the re-edition in the nylon with the strap and the accessories. Same idea, this one's just in a patchwork leather. I'll go ahead and tell you the Instagram results first. So I posted this on my Instagram story. All I asked was, do you like this bag? Do you not like this bag? I have to be honest, I was kind of surprised for the results of this. This one it was 46% said yes they do like this bag 54% said no they don't I personally love this bag I think that this is something that I would definitely consider buying I have said before how much I really like the re-edition particularly with the strap my hesitancy with it has been the fact that it is nylon spending $1,400 and it's not even leather I've been kind of like eh about that for myself but this one I think is absolutely gorgeous and I love that patchwork detailing I mean I guess it's kind of evenly split 46 and 54 percent i kind of thought that more people would love this bag because i definitely do okay moving on this one is a fendi baguette this bag has been around for Ever. It was really, really big back in the Sex and the City days. It's had a resurgence. This one in particular is a newer version of it. It's got like a crochet detailing. I picked the one in pink to post on my Instagram stories. I did have one of my friends say that if it wasn't pink, she would go for it. This is another one that I'm surprised at the split on it. 41% said yes, they do like it. 59% said no, they don't. This is another one. I love the Fendi baguette. I'm obsessed with the Fendi baguette. I really, really want to buy one. I'm trying not to buy a new handbag till the end of this year because I am saving for a Chanel 19 but this one has really really got me. I think Fendi is one of those brands where you can get a little wild with their styles. It feels right. Like I said it's almost kind of an even split 41 59 I would 100% buy this bag I think it's gorgeous next up is another Fendi bag this one is the peekaboo I see you east west bag um the peekaboo is one of Fendi's staple bags with the flap the Fendi logo on the inside this one's just a little bit different because instead of being long it is wide hence the east west I posted on my Instagram story this one got a 53% yes 47% no not surprising to me at all I think that the shape of it might be something that turns people off or the fact that it looks a little bit more mature. I personally, I like this bag but not for me. I don't think I would buy this bag. I think there are other bags from Fendi that are a lot cuter <laughs> in my opinion. Um, the Fendi Con Yu, I think might be what it's called I might be saying that wrong yeah I mean I think I think it's a beautiful bag if you have like a more mature style then I think it would be good if you're using it as like kind of like a business work bag it might be good but it's not for me I wouldn't buy it all right I couldn't stay away from the Fendi bags they just had so much interesting stuff on their new arrivals page and this one just really caught my eye especially the name this is the small croissant bag I put this one on my Instagram story this one got a 56% yes 44% no that I was actually surprised by I thought more people wouldn't like this bag because of the weird like hobo shape of it I personally adore this bag I think that it's so on trend right now that shape and the shoulder bag I'm not quite sure it looks like it has an adjustable strap so you might be be able to wear it crossbody. I'm not completely sure. I might have to check on that. But yeah, it's very reminiscent of the baguette. Obviously, baguette croissant, they're in the same family. That shape is just so cute. It's like moon shaped and adorable. It looks slouchy. I think that this is a gorgeous bag. I would 100% buy this bag. Next up is a Gucci bag. I'm particularly talking about the colorway of this right now because you all know I have the Gigi Marmot bag in the camera style and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I just talked about it as one of my favorites of the month in my last video, but this is in the new multicolor that Gucci's got going on right now. Put that on my Instagram story. It got a 13% yes and an 87% no. And I just have to say to my friends who said yes to this, what is wrong with you? 
genuinely what is wrong with you i am so just not here for the new gucci multicolor line i was gonna make a whole video on it but it just makes me so angry because it's so ugly this one is like not so offensive because it's just one color but they have like literal multicolor ones and i just want to know who's buying this like what luxury clown is buying this stuff if you have these i want to say don't be offended but like you should be offended with yourself because they're so ugly I'm just kidding. don't be offended i'm just saying stuff to say stuff the style of this bag 100 yes i would buy it i have bought it i would buy another one but this new multicolor line is just a big effing no from me dog it's it's just so bad that's all i have to say it's just so bad i can't even what so bad the next bag i'm going to talk about is a louis vuitton bag this is the multi pochette accessoire in the large emprunt is it emprunt but it's the large monogram black leather with that beautiful gold chain kind of reminiscent of a chanel chain i wasn't sure where this one was gonna go honestly here it was a 58 percent yes 42 percent no for my instagram poll i personally like the multi pochette accessoire just like the regular one it's kind of grown on me but this one in particular oh i think it is so beautiful i am obsessed with this large monogram with the black and the creamy white color i would buy toilet paper in this print like just completely honest like would i spend the money on the bag though i don't know honestly i i really don't know it's a lot of money because it is in leather. I'm gonna say no, I wouldn't buy this bag. I would buy a different bag in this style and I would buy the multi pochette accessoire in the canvas, but I would not buy this bag. Maybe I would. If I won the lottery, I would buy this bag. Okay, moving on, another Louis Vuitton bag. This one is all over Instagram. If you haven't seen this yet, you are either living under a rock or you just don't care. This is the Louis Vuitton Cousin. Cousin? Cousin. Do we have to pretend to be French here? The freaking cousin with two S's bag. This one, I was surprised at the results from, I'm not gonna lie, because it's very weird. It's very weird. It's got that like weird strap. It's got that big bulky, almost Bottega Veneta like chain. It's got the Louis Vuitton print in the emprunt. I was surprised at the results of this one. 64% said yes, they like this bag and 36% said no. I thought more people would say no if I'm being completely honest. As for me, I don't know. When I first looked at it, when I was first putting this video together, I was like, oh yeah, I love this bag. Like th this is, this bag is it. Now that I'm looking at it and kind of thinking about it, I don't think I love this bag. I think it's weird. Maybe it's just that strap, that like thick, like seatbelt looking strap that's throwing me off. So maybe I do like the bag. I just wouldn't wear it with the strap. I don't know. I'm going to say, do I like this bag? I'm not really sure. So would I buy it? No, I would not buy this bag. Don't hold me to that though, because I'm, I'm maybe, I don't, yeah, I don't know. No, I would not buy this bag. I'm not sure if I like it. I would not buy this bag. All right, moving on to a YSL bag. This is the Le, should I say it in French? Le Sac A Set Hobo bag in smooth leather. This one did not surprise me at all. I put it on my Instagram. 89% said yes, 11% said no. This is super trendy shoulder bag, totally in right now. It does not surprise me at all that people like this bag. I like this bag. I, I think it's really pretty. Would I buy it? Probably not. I'm, I'm just not into a shoulder bag, honestly. I have weird shoulders and I can never keep a shoulder bag on my shoulder. They always slide down and it drives me nuts. Yes, I think this bag is beautiful. If I had unlimited money, I would buy it just to look at it, but no, I wouldn't buy it because I would never reach for it. Next up is the Manhattan shoulder bag in smooth leather. I picked this one because it is very reminiscent of a Kelly. It's, it's basically a, a, a Kelly dupe. Like if you're looking for a Kelly and you don't want to spend Hermes money, this is a really, really great option. The split on this one, 64% said yes, they did like this bag. 36% said no, they don't like this bag. I think it's just, it's a toss up on this one, honestly. If you like a structured, more mature looking bag, I think you're gonna like this bag. If you, like I said, if you're looking for an Hermes lookalike, you're gonna like this bag. I do you really like this bag? I think it's really pretty. I think it's really beautiful. If I was still working in an office, I would definitely buy this bag as a work bag. That being said, I don't think I would buy this bag now just because I don't work in a professional setting anymore. I work from home. And also, if I wanted a bag that looked like a Kelly, I would just buy a Kelly. You know what I mean? I really do want a Kelly bag one day. And it just doesn't make sense to spend almost $2,000 on something that looks like a Kelly bag when I want to eventually buy one and then I'm out $2,000 that could have been put, put towards the bag that I actually want. Yes, I think this bag is beautiful. I think if it's something that you like, totally go for it. I personally would not buy it though. Okay, moving on to the last two bags. They're gonna be from Chanel. This first one, I picked a vanity case in the, I don't know how you say this, Raton, 
Rattan, Calfskin, and Silver Tone Metal Beige and Black. I picked this for two reasons. One, I was interested in the vanity, vanity case bag look thing. Sophie Showhead has a really interesting video about this trend that my comment was actually featured on. Um, I'll link that down below. I love her. If you're interested in the whole vanity case thing and whether it's a trend or it's here to stay, is it worth the money, all that stuff, I'll link her video down below. Um, I also picked this one because the whole basket looking bag thing is in right now. So I put this one on my Instagram. I'm actually really surprised at this one as well. Um, I thought more people would say no. It was a 46% yes, 54% no on whether or not they like this bag. I personally really do like the vanity case trend. Like I'm kind of here for it. I think that it is a trend and looking back 10 years from now, wearing a vanity case as a bag is gonna look very of the time. At the end of the day, when the trend is over, you have a really cute vanity case. Like I think it's a good, way to spend your money to get kind of like a two for one deal but anyway this one in particular mm, no i'm gonna say i don't like it honestly i'm not really here for the basket weave trend i i I don't want to spend that much money to look like a beach bag. Like, I'm sorry, I just don't. If it's something that you like, I think this is kind of like a good deal for the money for Chanel, um, but it's just not for me. I don't like it. I would not buy this bag. I just, I just don't like it. And the last bag, I honestly just put this one on for shits and giggles because I kind of knew where it was gonna land. This is a Chanel large hobo bag, cotton canvas, calfskin, and gold tone metal coral. 10% said yes, 90% said no. I genuinely think this bag is hideous. Um, there, there's nothing appealing to me about it. It comes in different colors. None of the colors are appealing to me. That fluffy cross hatch. Nope. We already know how I feel about a shoulder bag. A shoulder hobo bag. No. The ruched top. No. Everything about this bag is just a huge no to me. And this is another one. If you own this, why? What happened in your life that led you to the moment where you bought this bag? I want to know. I really want to know. Do you need help? Do you need someone to talk to? I'm here for you. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed hearing my opinions on some of these new arrival bags that have come out recently. I definitely enjoyed putting them on my Instagram story with the polls and seeing what all of you thought about them. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. It is at Emily Shack with two A's. I promise I'm not super annoying. You'll just get to see some of my like day-to-day -day things and lots of pictures of my cats. I know you guys love my cats, so follow me on Instagram. You should do it. All the funky and chicken are waiting for you. Thank you again to Love Lola for giving me this video idea, and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!